and now i'm going to go and create some domain so this is your domain right click say new call it id then click it properties and i'm going to make it a uh, the parent would be number because it's an id column for me and i'll make add the owner entity to it so that it has the proper name the data type i want to keep as integer that's okay uh, there's no constraint i want it that's okay i'll just put it as okay let me create some more uh, domain so new and i will create the okay let's just say name name properties and i want it to be under the parent has to be string same thing i'll put here percent owner entity Let me check the data type. It's like a 20. Okay, let's make it 50 and say okay. So now I have some domains. I'll just pull them in quickly. ID over here. I have ID over here. The name I have over here. And name I have over here. Simple columns. Okay. Now let me define a many-to-many -many relationship between them. The student courses, I have a many-to-many -many relationship defined. Let me see in the physical. This is a physical. Now we go back to logical. Uh, click on this. I need to resolve this relationship. It's a many-to-many. -many. So I click on this icon, many-to-many -many transform. Click on this wizard. Say next, next, next finish and i have my table over here and then i move these columns uh, to the columns i don't want them to be my primary key uh, okay and now i want a primary key so i move the id column over here so this becomes my primary key. so this is the simple data model that i have all right, this is my logical view of the data model. This is my physical view of the data 